Hey, what's going on YouTube? Today's topic is a very great question. Should military members buy a house? Yes or no? I will begin by saying that buying a house is, is a great option. It's a good investment. However, when you are active duty, one of the things that I want you to consider is that you'll be at a base for three, four years or more if you're lucky. So what's going to happen to that house when you leave? Are you going to sell? Are you going to rent? Is that going to be difficult or not? Before we get to that far, let me ask this, or let me tell you this. I think realtors are in the business, to, obviously, to sell homes. So if you were to contact a realtor and say, hey, I want to buy a house, I'm interested, can you give me some information? They're going to be there, especially because you're a service member. They will make it happen to where you have the house that you qualify for, the, the house that you want, because that's what they do. It's a good thing. They have a, they do a good service for us, but it, you know, at the same time, they're making some money. The big picture is this. When you buy a house, you are committing to either a 15 or most likely a 30 year mortgage. And that's something that I want you to remember. That's a big commitment because if you will be at a base for three to four years or five years, going back to that question, which I asked earlier is what are you going to do with the house once you leave? Sometimes people want to sell the house and use it as a, a tax break in those three, four, five years that they were in the house and they sell the house. Okay, it depends on the market. Okay, I actually live in Colorado Springs. There's a lot of houses out there that are vacant from service members who bought here who are trying to sell or trying to rent. So if somebody wants to buy a house or sell a house, this is a buyer's market. Let's go back to the realtor. You most likely will not have to come out of pocket if you use your VA home loan certificate and you can request that the seller pay your closing fees. That's great. That's how easy it is to buy a house. But think about selling a house. Somebody's going to ask you most likely that you pay all of the closing costs or $5,000 of the closing costs. On top of that, you're going to have to pay the realtor. So that is something that I want you to think about. It's very easy to buy a house and you can sell a house as well. Or are you going to rent that property? So let's say you are here and you move on to your next base, whether it's stateside or overseas. You still have a tie to your previous base if you still have that house there. Are you going to rent it out yourself? Or are you going to use a property manager? Property managers are something that I've used in the past. Great service. But it comes with the price as well. So I want you to think of that. Big picture. Okay? Anytime you want to buy a house, I want you to ask yourself, am I financially fit for this big commitment? Okay, because if you do PCS and you can't sell that property, will you be able to support two households wherever you move on and the previous one if that house is vacant? Or are you going to have to come out of pocket because the renter pays X number of dollars, but you still have to pay the property manager or come up with the difference? So can you actually support two households should you need to, even if it's on a temporary basis? Buying a house does give you a tax break and that's good, but I also want you to th remember that you're paying a lot of interest. And when you buy a house, whether it's 15 years or 30, at the beginning, you are not paying a lot of money towards that principal. A lot of it is going towards the interest. So you're going to see that number drop very, very slowly, especially at the beginning. Buying a house is a big responsibility. People say, hey, I'm in the service, I'm going to be here for three, four, five years, and I'm excited. This is, we bought a house. How did we make this happen? My parents maybe didn't own a home, or maybe they did. But we're so young, and yes, you can do that, but it's a big responsibility, big commitment. Now, let me ask you this. Maybe you want to put this on pause, but one of the things that you can do, especially even if you use your VA home loan certificate, is, is have a house fund where you put X number of dollars every month into this house fund. Over time, it's going to increase. Maybe you can get $10,000, $20,000, $40,000 money set aside. So eventually, when you buy a house, you don't finance 100%. Okay, and that's going to save you because you you have some money to put down. Okay, at the same time, you can use some of that money should something happen with that property where you can replace the hot water heater or whatever goes out. So what, what do I think? Uh, should military members buy a house, yes or no? I will answer that question. I think buying a house is a great thing, but if you're going to be in, a, in an area for just two, three years and you, don't, you know you don't want to stay in that area, look at the big picture. Are you committed? Are you financially fit? Are you going to be responsible so it doesn't backfire for you? 
Also, ask if you if you ask a realtor, they're going to say buying a house is a great thing. It's a great investment, and so forth. Yes, if you're talking to someone that sells homes, talk to people that uh, have bought a house before, especially service members. Sometimes you'll hear of individuals who say, "I have a house here, there, and I'm managing everything well, and somebody's paying my mortgage." That's I've heard that too, and that's a good thing. But can you do that? Are you financially responsible to have that responsibility? Do you want that responsibility? Okay, it's just some questions to think about. I hope this helped you. If you contact Military One Source and say, hey, I want to talk to a financial counselor as well, or your military installation, get some feedback first, and then do what's best for you and your family. I hope this was helpful, and uh, have a great day.